Hey guys, JC Smith here. Today we're getting the camper ready to go. We decided we're gonna take uh, this one. This is a KZ Durango. It's a 30, I think I said 38 and a half foot, something like that. And uh, we're going over it, checking lights. My wife's cleaning the inside now. I started getting up underneath it because I wanted to check the, the brakes and the wheel bearings and all that kind of stuff. And lo and behold, Someone has just put brand new, brand new uh, backing plates on it with all the brakes, and took the center cap out. It's got brand new drums on it. Took this, this out. They just repacked all the wheel bearings. However, the tires have some dry rot on them, so I decided to pick up some new tires. This one's not so bad, but some of the other ones do. Well, let me show you the tires that I ordered. We're gonna get these changed out. All right, so these are the tires we ordered. They're Hercules tires, ST, which is trailer service. 235, 85, 16, 14 ply. These ratings here are speed and load. And this is kind of important to me because um, if you remember we had a blowout on the, the Goodyear marathons we had. This is a pretty fast speed. These are good for over 75 miles an hour and the load is 4,400 pounds per tire. Um, let's see if I can find this. This is for trailer service only. Maximum single load, 4,400 pounds. Now, this tire has to be used with a six and a half inch wheel. Uh oh, they're falling on me. Where does it say that? I saw it on here somewhere. It said use with six and a half inch rim. There it is, right there. Six and a half inch rim. So, I guess they're gonna fall. Anyways, they're a really, really heavy tire. And the rims that are on the camper now are six inch. So, I just ordered up new aluminum wheels. They're supposed to be here in the next day or so. And we're going to mount all four of these tires. What we're going to do is put these on the camper for this trip. And we're going to run them. And we're ready to sell a trailer. Um, we'll give the people the option to buy these with it. Or take the original lower wheels. Because the tires that are on there right now are 235, 80, 16s. And... The load range is E. Go load range E's, and they're just fine, because this trailer only weighs this camper weighs 10,100 empty. So this load range is quite a bit more, and the Goodyear Marathons that run our Montana are even lower. So I'll we'll show you these. Their load range E also, the camper weighs more. But that's what happened to it. These are 235, 80, 16s. You can see the sidewall blew out of it. That's what happened. So, um, again, this is only a six inch wheel also. So what we're gonna do is get the new aluminum wheels. We'll get them mounted up. We'll take them and then decide what we're gonna do. I think I think as this one goes, we're just gonna replace the tires with something similar and uh, put it back on there and put the Montana up for sale. All right, this is what I ordered. These are Hercules tires, 235-85-16s. 14 ply, 132 is the speed rating, 127 is a load rating. These are rated for 75 miles an hour which is good because the good year, good for one year marathons were not. Um, now, these tires are heavy. I bet you these tires weigh one and a half times what the other ones do. And let's see, where is it here? The problem with these is, it's turned around. These require a six and a half inch rim. Well, my aluminums are only six inch, so, my thought was we would just go ahead and order up 
new wheels that were good for 110 psi and six and a half because the the wheels that are on the Durango don't have a pressure stamp on the back of them. The ones that are on Montana did. They were good for 110. The ones on the Durango that we're going to be taking do not have a pressure stamp on them. So I ordered up four new aluminum wheels. They should be here hopefully by Wednesday so we can get these mounted and get them on the, the trailer. Now the whole thought for this is these are way overkill for that camper but we're going to sell off the Montana and we might sell the Durango both. So what we're going to do is put these on and I'll replace the tire on the Montana, replace that wheel trim, get it up for sale, and then we'll offer the Durango with these tires or with the original lower, lower range tires. These weren't bad. These were just over $500 for all of them. Um, the wheels were pretty reasonable too. It's like 400 and something for those. I know it's a lot of money, but we always have a camper. We always fight tires. These are a good heavy tire. These things here are good for 4,400 pounds per tire. Where is it? Let's see if I can find it. There it is. 4,400 pounds per tire when they're singled. That's more than we need. That's what I like. These sidewalls are so much stiffer than the Goodyear Wranglers. So um, we're going to do that. As soon as those come in, we'll get them bound, uh, mounted up. And we're going to take propane tanks. i got to get them filled up. And that way they're taken care of. We've checked most of the systems on the camper so far. My wife's cleaning it right now. And hopefully in the next couple days, we're going to be ready to go. We decided to take the Dodge. Um, reason being it's better on fuel um, this Dodge is better on fuel than the 4500 when we pulled the Montana with the, the 4500 we got 7.3 mile a gallon we pulled the Montana with this we got 9.3 mile a gallon so I just went over it got a look at it front to back checked oil antifreeze coolant uh, washer solvent, transmission fluid, all that stuff, and rolled around underneath it. I've already done the front. You know, I did a video of the axle joints and brakes and all that kind of stuff. The backs are good. I think we're good to go. All right, these are the tires that were on this camper. These tires and these wheels. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a crown to it. This one's pretty flat, but it's also dry rotted. It's definitely going to blow out. So I got new wheels and tires. Alright, so these are the new wheels and tires we got. The rims are good for 110 psi. We got the heavy duty bolt in valve stems. They're a little bit taller so right in this way it reduces the amount of space behind, between this by almost an inch but we still have plenty of room. So um, now we're going to take the other side. I got two on now already. So now we're going to get the other side on. And these ones keep getting stuck. None of the other ones got stuck. I don't know why these keep going. It's already off. Now it's my turn. Yep. 